It is that time of year again to start getting Layla Jane's Easter basket ready. Now there are so many different fun and creative ways you can create an Easter basket. First of all, it doesn't even have to be a basket you put everything in. You can go out on a limb and do something fun and different. Some different ideas you could use are taking an umbrella, because an umbrella is a cute thing to even include in an Easter basket, especially with spring showers coming along. And you could open the umbrella and then have it set out with all of the Easter stuff inside of the umbrella. You could also do rain boots and stick everything inside the rain boots. If your kid loves sand and beach toys, maybe get a big dump truck and put everything inside the dump truck too. You get a little wagon and put everything in the wagon or a shopping cart. Layla Jane loves her little toy shopping cart. That would have been a cute idea maybe last year before I got her the shopping cart to get that and then put all of her Easter stuff in there. If you have a little baby, maybe getting one of those little tyke baby swings and putting everything inside there or even a cool baseball cap or a beach hat and putting everything inside there too. So many different fun ways you can go with it. This year though, I am going the traditional route and just using a basket because every time we go to Target, Layla Jane sees this one Easter basket and always wants it. So I'm going to give her that one. You could also even choose a theme, maybe make everything a beach theme or a pool theme. Um, everything could be a craft item in there or a sports item, maybe even a water or gardening or a Disney Disney themed, so many different fun ideas. Or again, you could just do whatever your kid likes. It doesn't have to be a theme. So I am not doing a theme here this either, but when I am building Layla Jane's Easter basket, I always make sure it has these components. Something they need, something to build, something to play, something to eat, and something to read. And I always try to get at least one thing from each of those categories, sometimes two if something was small and inexpensive. And I just went to Target and had so much fun looking around at everything and picking out a few things from all the different categories. So here are some clips showing you what I found at Target and they might give you some fun suggestions on what you could put into your kid's Easter basket. The dollar section always has great things like little band-aids are super cute to throw in, these little magnetic activity sets, and of course all of these fun play packs all different themes. These are new soap on a rope. That would be a cute thing to throw in there. Imagine ink, always a great option. Mess free markers, who doesn't love that? They even have a bunch of different gardening sets and tools here in the hot dollar spot. Cute sunglasses. That could definitely go in the need pile. Of course, rain boots are always a cute thing to add in. With the spring weather, you know, comes all of the rain. When these even light up, Layla would like those. Oh, that's pretty cool. And of course, this could be a neat item, sandals for summertime. Fun new socks and undies could also be a fun need. A new rain jacket could be a need. They have some really cute ones right now too. I am obsessed with their spring dresses right now. I think I have a few of these already for Layla, but these would be fun need items. A new spring dress or a new sun hat for summertime. A new swimsuit. They have tons of swimsuits here at Target right now. For something to build, they have these cool National Geographic toys. Now this would be for a bit older kids, but they have some really fun things here. Any of these science and craft kits would be super cute to put in under your build category. And again, under the build category, any of the kinetic sand or Play-Doh. There's just so many options for different age groups too. For play maybe throwing in a new game or of course some fidgets those are always popular little mini lol surprise toys dolls are always great for play nerf guns would be an awesome option for play too especially with summer coming up can't go wrong with Barbies. Lots of Barbie options. Look at these cute Hatchimals. This would be a fun thing to throw into an Easter egg too, and it's already like a little egg, so perfect. This is what I was looking for, actually. The Hatchimals collectibles. This would be super fun 
any beach toy is gonna be a fun thing for play. Or maybe some swim toys, like some dive toys, some squirt guns. Those are always fun to add into, or this little pack too, just with some mini ones. Of course, the water balloons. You could do a whole just beach pool themed Easter basket with all of this. Keeping with that theme underneath, you could do new goggles or sunglasses or even water shoes. Bubbles would be fantastic. I actually just got Layla Jane a bubble machine and she absolutely loves it. And chalk great for all these outdoor activities. It'd also be cute to get a gardening set or sand toys. For something to eat, you can of course go to the Easter section at Target and there's tons of options. I always have to go for a classic Easter bunny. I like the hollow one, so I'm getting that one for Layla. Layla loves Pez and I just saw these. Aren't those cute? It's like a mini Pez, but it's in an Easter egg. I think I'm gonna have to get this for her, but they also have just normal ones too. Target also has so many fun Easter baskets. You can definitely find something that your kid would love here. Layla, I recently discovered, loves Cadbury eggs. And the big ones are just so big. So this little one with these minis would be a good option. <laughs> so she doesn't eat the giant ones. Layla is obsessed with chapstick, so this could be a fun need item. Target also has some of these cute little crafts in their craft section. This could be fun for either the build or the play. Stickers are always fun to put in the play category. Now that I am back from Target, it's time to actually start building Layla Jane's Easter basket. And I can't wait to show you what all I got and what's going inside of it. First and foremost, you need to have your basket. Now, I always recommend getting your basket first, even getting it the same place where you're shopping for everything that's going inside of it. So I got this at Target, and then I would carry it around with me to make sure I wasn't over buying, because you don't want that. You wanna make sure everything fits inside. So I got this little basket for her, because she always is pointing out this one. And I like that then it could kind of be a beach bucket or a sand toy bucket too. It came with, I didn't realize this at the time, but it came with these little stickers in it too. So that's cute. She could maybe even decorate it with that, the stickers afterwards. So there's the base of it. For the something to read column, I actually got two books. One is The Tale of Peter Rabbit, because I love this book. I just wanted to get it to her. So I got this, it's a little bit older. I think she'll like this a lot. I also just got her a fun little Easter book too. And this one's a little bit younger, but I think she'll like it. It's a little more colorful and a little more cutesy. So I ended up getting her two columns from the read category because I love books and I'm always trying to instill a love of books in her too. For the something to play category, I got her a few different things because all the items I got were very inexpensive. One is chalk. You can't go wrong with chalk and Layla loves that and it's just a great spring summer activity to get you outside. So I got her just a few more little chalk colors. I got her this little soaker thing for the pool. I thought that would be fun for her. She's never really had anything like this, so I think that'll be something fun and new for her. Can't go wrong with bubbles either. And I like to go with these bubbles. I do not like the little ones because I just feel like they just don't work very well. And we do have a bubble machine, which she loves, but this one's just kind of fun when you just want to take it to the park or something. And this, these make great bubbles too. And the last thing for the play item, I found this in the little dollar section. It's this nail set and it comes with stickers. It comes with two different nail polishes. I made sure I got the blue because that's her favorite color. Even the little toe separator. She's gotten her nails done a few times and um, she likes to play, pretend play, giving pedicures and she'll stick like paper towels in between my toes or her toes. So now she has a real one. And then a little Crayola um, nail file. I just know she's gonna love this because she loves doing her nails right now. Something for the need section. Now she doesn't need any swimsuit sunglasses. Um, she didn't need like any rain boots or sandals. She has tons of that stuff. I had to kind of go out on a limb and find some other things that I knew she would like. One of them was I found this also in the dollar section, this little water cup. There's no it opens on the bottom. So maybe you can put like even like, 
I mean, I guess you could put ice in here to keep it cold, but you could put snacks in there too. But the thing I think she's gonna love the most is it comes with a lanyard. She does not have any water bottles that come with a lanyard like this. So I think this one is going to be a big hit. And I can imagine her wearing this everywhere we go now. And then another one for need, and I show this when I was at Target, it's this little chapstick. She is obsessed with chapsticks right now. So I made a note of it and I went and got this. So she'll now have this in her Easter basket too. For something to eat, I of course had to go the traditional Easter bunny. I feel like when I was growing up, I always got a chocolate Easter bunny in my Easter basket. So I wanna continue that for Layla Jane. So I made sure I got her a good old Hershey's chocolate Easter bunny, the hollow one. And then as I mentioned too, while I was at Target, I got her these little mini Cadbury eggs. This is the first year that she actually tried a Cadbury egg and she loved it. But you know, they're like this big and they're super rich and Layla Jane already has a super sweet tooth and will eat the whole thing and want more. So I thought maybe giving her little mini ones would be a little bit better. I also got her a little bag of chips, but I can't find that. It must be in the pantry. She's recently obsessed with Cheetos. So I got a little bag of Cheetos to throw in there also. So it's not all just sweets. We got a few savory things in there too. Now for the build, unfortunately, I can't show you the actual thing right now because it has not arrived from Amazon yet, but hopefully it'll be here soon. It's a Melissa and Doug and it comes with three different like build your own jewelry kits. And I thought Layla would really like that and she'd probably enjoy doing that with her little friend Shiley too, whenever she comes over, but you can make headbands, there's a necklace one and, and then a bracelet one. And I just thought that was really cute. It was only like $12 and it comes with three different crafts and I just think she's gonna love that and it'll keep her busy and just something fun to do too. And I just realized I forgot two things. Um, this one, you saw me looking at it at Target, this cute little Easter Bunny Pez dispenser in the egg. I thought this was adorable and just a little different than the normal Pez dispensers. So this also goes in the eat category. And then I also ended up getting her just this little Hatchimal. And I just wanted to get her the little egg one because she loves opening these and seeing what's all inside of them. This one I noticed is the sibling pack. And since she is going to be being a big sister here in just a couple months, I thought this was very fitting. All right, now it's time to put it all together. kind of a tight squeeze, but I got it all in there. I still had to add the thing coming in from Amazon, but it'll fit right in the back. I think she's going to be very surprised and happy with this Easter basket. I hope you enjoyed these tips and me just sharing how I build my Easter basket with my kid. Let me know what some of the things are that you put in your children's Easter baskets. I would love to know because next year, I'm going to have a four-year-old and an almost one-year-olds to make Easter baskets for. So that's gonna be fun and exciting and I can't wait. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Happy Easter.